What's up guys? Today I sound nasally because I'm a little sick and I'm a day late also, but I was sick yesterday too. But anyway, yesterday was the, uh, you know, the tragic anniversary in Canada of the third and as it stands to even today, 18 years later, the last final school shooting in Montreal, well fatal school shooting in Montreal, Canada. And uh, that's crazy to think about that that big old city has only had three major, actually only three fatal school shootings, with the Dawson College shooting being the least deadliest with only, well, technically two, including this scumbag, but the we're going to talk about Miss Anastasia D'Souza, the one person that was killed in this shooting rampage. She was 18, which means she would be 36 right now probably with kids of her own and I watched uh, some things about her mother who advocates for uh, stricter gun laws I mean it's Canada you know you're more likely to get stabbed than shot you know but still it's it's a crazy world out there so some wacko is gonna find a way but anyway September 3rd Wednesday I believe it was Wednesday September 13th 2006 when this the Dawson College shooting happened in Montreal Anyway, just remember it. There was 19 others that were wounded. They also testified later on in the later years for gun control. Especially the one. I don't know if I want to say his name, but... Because, you know, I don't... I just... I just want them to live a normal life, honestly. I mean, as normal as they can get. You know, I mean, there is no normalcy. I may mention his name in the description or I may keep it private. But if you really want to know, just look up... Uh, some stuff about it and one of the one of the people who was shot at Dawson College was actually shot twice in the neck and head luckily this scumbag who was not using an AR-15 I don't even know if you can get an AR-15 in like uh Canada I don't even know I'll look that up but I mean gun laws are probably different but he had a 9mm carbine, which is basically a 9mm rifle, a rifle for 9mm specifically. Um, so, if it was anything else, most likely he would not have survived if it was anything bigger than 9mm. He would have most likely not have survived, just saying. If it was an actual AR-15, nah, his, he would have been blown away. But... I'm glad he did, he couldn't get his hands on an AR-15. His day could have been a lot worse. And also the police who was already at the scene. I don't know why, but they were just there. Or maybe they were security guards. I don't know. But they I watched the CCTV. Like They were only a few seconds behind him at most. They just didn't get a clear shot on him because he kept going around corners. But he kept taking hostages and fucking around. And uh, they got a clear shot. You know, One of the hostages kept uh, him distracted. So while the shooter was distracted by the hostage uh, and, you know, just talking to him, the police got a clear shot to his, the shooter's arm, which luckily they took it and then, uh, you know, they shot him in the arm. Didn't, he, he went down, but he wasn't dead. Well, the shooter took care of that for the police because he put the, I don't know what he did. He had a pistol. I don't know which one he shot himself with, but he, he shot himself nonetheless in the head, so... He did, but very sad, very unfortunate. Well, it's not unfortunate. That's a kind of a trivial word to use talking about a school shooting like this. But anyway, that 18 years Dawson College shooting. I know it's not really talked about, but anyway, rest in peace, Anastasia D'Souza.